Okay guys, so today, you know, I quit playing RuneScape recently, so you probably won't be seeing any content from RuneScape from me anymore. Um, I've recently been dabbling with a lot of emulators, you know, playing some old GameCube favorites and PlayStation 2 favorites. And so I decided to make a video for you guys and show you, because it seems like there's not a lot of information out there as I've been looking around on how to use well basically just how to edit your save files in Pokemon on the GameCube so we're gonna be using Dolphin that's the emulator I run with um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna yeah we can close that now don't need it just to show you that you know what I'm showing you actually is true and works you know here is Pokemon booting up And Call of Duty has such a long boot time. I always hated all the little screens and stuff. Um, already beat the game. To make it easier, I just converted some of my shadow Pokemon into other Pokemon, but I also created a few of my own. But they're just a little different whenever it's done that way. Just some random shinies here. Got my old PS3 controller that I use when I run emulators. Fun times. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close this out. You know, once you've got save file established, you got your ROM download, everything's all set up, then you're going to go into Dolphin once your save file is there. You're going to go to Tools, Memory Card Manager. Now, for example, mine says it's in slot B, but I have it set up so that it loads a slot A. And we're going to right click on our Coliseum save file or XD, whichever one you're editing. We're going to hit export save. I always just dump mine straight into my GameCube emulator folder. Makes it easy to find later. I say save. It says you already got one there. Da -da -da. Yeah, replace it. Now we're gonna close this out, minimize this bad boy, and now we're gonna boot up another tool. That again, the, the links of all this will be in the description. We're gonna boot up a tool called Pokemon GameCube Save Editor, and once that's open, we can close its containing folder. Whoa. Okay, let's not mit. Well. That would explain I haven't loaded my save into it. I'm a little scatterbrained right now. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, so we're going to go to File Open, find the save that we just pulled, which in my case is this one. Boom, we've got our save in there. Now let's blow it up so you can see a little better. Uh, we're going to go to Game Configuration. This will allow us to change what game it is, but you don't really have any use for that. You can change your regions, your language, your rumble function disabled, um, how many times you've saved in your story. Trainer info, this is going to be where you can change your name, your IDs, your partner's name, um, pokey dollars and pokey coupons. Go to your bag, you can edit different stuff in your bag. You just click on an empty spot, find the item you want, set a quantity and hit modify. It's very simple. You can do key items, Pokeballs, TMs, berries, whatever you want to do. You can even set your colognes, I guess. So that one I did not know about. Um, this is your party Pokemon. Obviously, the six Pokemon you're carrying with you. Um, you can edit them to your heart's desire. You hit edit. This box pops up. You can change what Pokemon it is. You can change their level. You know, you can change whether or not they're an invalid Pokemon, whether they're an egg, change their markings, status, you can make them be poisoned or sleeping or whatever your uh, whatever, whatever you like. Um, you can change where they were caught in the level met. Um, if you click here where it says see here, it'll give you a list of what numbers correspond to what catch locations. Um, always check Fateful Encounter to make sure everybody is obedient to you. 
is there some Pokemon, and I don't know if it's all of them or just some, because I always just check it as a safety precaution, but sometimes they will not listen to what you're telling them to do if you don't check that. At least for Colosseum, don't know about Gale, but I would assume it's the same thing. Um, you can copy the info from the save if you want to do it that way, otherwise you can edit your own info and do all that. Generate shiny IDs, obviously that just gives you a shiny Pokemon. So if you want shinies, generate shiny ID. Cool. Stats, this is where you can edit your EVs, IVs, etc, etc. And that'll give you, obviously, the stat totals you're looking for. Moves, this is a great place. Excuse, uh, excuse me, guys. Like I said, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, obviously, this is where you can edit your moves. Um... The sanity checkers will not catch if you put moves on a Pokemon it's not supposed to have. So as long as you're playing with them in story mode, do whatever you want with the stats and moves, sanity checks won't do crap about it. However, when it comes time to do your Mount Battle level 100 challenge, you get your Ho-Oh if you so decide to do so. You have to be very careful about what you do to the Pokemon because I found out when you have, you know max IV and EV Pokemon like this Metagross, the Sanity Checker realizes that that is not legitimate. So the Sanity Checker will catch that, it will claim it is an ineligible Pokemon, you will not be able to use it in battle mode. So, make sure if you're editing Pokemon for battle mode that you don't do anything crazy to them, otherwise you're not going to be able to use them, you're wasting your time. And you can add you can edit ribbons, you can add ribbons to them. You know, it's got a few different options and things. Nothing that anybody really cares all that much about, I'm sure. But if you want to put a bunch of ribbons on them, go for it. Um, so that's how you get to your party, your bag, and your general. Uh, we're going to go to our trainer. Oh, that's where we just were. Whoops. We're going to go to our PC. Obviously, Coliseum only has three boxes. You can change the box name. You can change the items that are held in your PC. And obviously you can add the Pokemon 1 through 6, 7 through 12, 13 through 18, 19 through 24, and 25 through 30. Same deal here. You pick a Pokemon, edit, boom. Box shows up. Go nuts unless you're using them for battle mode. Um, daycare, you can add a Pokemon to the daycare, I guess. So you say Pokemon deposited, initial Pokemon level, and then you can, you know, edit who's in there and all that stuff, whatever, whatever. Cool. Uh, strategy memo, this will just be like generate shiny IDs, you know, fill your memo, fill your memo, all shiny. And ribbon descriptions, this will kind of tell you, like, you can pick one of these, I'm pretty sure, and it changes what ribbon is actually added. I don't know. I don't mess with ribbons. I don't really see a point. They're purely cosmetic. Um, once you get done editing your heart's desire, I see we're going to go to file. We're going to save our new save, which will be the exact same name, exact same place as our old one. And we can close this tool out because we are done with it for this session. We're going to pull Dolphin back up. And we want to go to our tools and our memory card manager once again. Select our current save that is currently on the card. We're going to delete that. Uh, we're going to delete the save, and I don't know why. But right now, my save is being a jerk as per usual. Anyways, my save is being stupid. Occasionally I have this issue. I don't exactly know what causes it. But basically, you're just going to right click it, delete save. Obviously, mine's not deleting right now because it's being a jerk. But then, whichever side your save is on, because your save might be over here, mine's over here. So, for example, if your save is on this card or that's where you want to put your save, you would hit import GCI click your save and hit o open not okay and boom 
your new save file is now imported into that place. For example, with mine, I put import and put it over here. But now your save file is there. You can go ahead and close this, reopen your game, and your new edited save is there, and you are good to rock and roll. And again, it works for both XD and Coliseum. It is not game specific. Any of the GameCube Pokemon games can be edited through this method. If I remember correctly though, Gale of Darkness has a little more strict um, sanity checks so you may not be able to go as nuts with your Pokemon and things on that one but your save file can still be edited when it comes to that one um, I know I've got another video of my edited XD save file but just to give you an example I'll go into it real quick and kind of show you what I've done to it just to show you that again number one this game does work on dolphin and number two that this method does work on dolphin for editing save files wow that's pretty sad I've only purified three Pokemon guys I kind of suck uh, let's blow this up real nice and big even though now you can only see like half the screen but you can see what's important so it's no big deal as you can see a lot of very similar Pokemon you get your Schizor Dragonite, Mewtwo, Swampert, Kyogre, Groudon, all the good stuff. Let's open our party. We have a regular and a shiny Mew, more Lottis, two Rayquazas. Don't exactly know what the deal is there with the duplicates, but wow, I have a lot. Oh, I know where some of those came from. Okay. Shiny Ho-Oh, Shiny Celebi. Then we get into, you know, all my shadow Pokemon that I've caught. Again, no idea why I haven't purified them, just haven't done it. We're going to go ahead and stop our current emulation, and there you are, guys. That is how you go about editing your XD and your Coliseum saves on Dolphin. Like I said everything you need to do so will be in the description I will also leave links in the description for both ROMs I think I have the links for both still so I will leave links in the description for both ROMs link in the description for Dolphin and also link in the description for the memory card file in case if yours decides to act stupid and not create one for you and lastly, I will also leave a link in the description for Pokemon GameCube Tool so that you have everything at your fingertips that you need in order to edit your save files, get those cool shinies and those overly powerful Pokemon that we all love to use, even though it does make the game just a tad bit too easy. And tune in next time, I will have more stuff for you. Going to be diving into Citra pretty soon, so some 3DS content will be coming. Anyways, guys, that is going to be all for me today. I will catch up with you later.